Uh, welcome to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. How are you, man? Oh, we're we're doing excellent. Uh, so glad you could, so glad you could uh, call in. No problem. No problem. Uh, I apologize about all the technical difficulties we've had thus far. So, uh, yeah. So, are you prepared to be uh, interviewed by the Wrestling Mayhem Show? I'm ready. All right. Uh, first of all, uh, for those of those of our, our listeners who may not exactly know who you are, though I don't know how they would not know who you are, uh, you want to give a brief background on who is Eric Young? Uh, I'm Eric Young. Uh, I wrestled for TNA. I've uh, been with the company for three years. I've uh, been in wrestling for nine years, and uh, that's about it. And uh, what, well, what's it like working for TNA? It's a blast, man. It's uh, a big, happy family. Everyone gets along, and everyone works hard, and Excellent, excellent. Um, how how uh, has the company been shaped recently with uh, Sting coming on and now Kurt Angle? Um, it's a uh, good couple of really good additions, you know, uh, along with Rhino and Christian and the Deadlies and uh, you know New Town like Austin Star and and uh, myself. And, 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 and it's a it's a well-rounded group, and you know we've got veterans and guys that have been there before and, and drew in big money and. Excellent. What's it like to be a member of Team Canada? Uh, what What was it like to be a member of Team Canada? Uh, yeah, it was fun. It was, uh, I uh, spent most of my wrestling career wrestling predominantly in Canada, and uh, I was usually babyface. So, uh, and I normally wrestled single uh, So, being in the tag and in a group like that and being here it was kind of a new thing for me. So, it was really fun, and it's like learning how to wrestle all over again. It's, it's kind of a different style. Of, Um, have have you ever been on the receiving end of a Canadian destroyer? Yeah, several times, actually. <laughs> uh, uh, so okay, the first one was, uh, first one was in our cage match, me and PD versus AMW, in the first lockdown, where we lost steel cages. Uh-huh. That was, that was the very first time I took it. I took it on a couple of uh, indie shows, and I think I did it one other time on TV. Uh, and w- what's it like? I heard you. Uh, what's it like uh, being on the receiving end of a, a Canadian destroyer? What, what goes through your head? It's, uh, it's a hell of a ride. It's all I can say. It's uh, pretty crazy. <laughs> uh, Eric, uh, this this is Sorg on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, I want to ask you, uh, I, uh, lately you've been uh, feuding with uh, your old uh, team partner, uh, Bobby Roode, uh, along with uh, Tracy Brooks in there. Uh, how is it to be, uh, the, the, be uh, uh, working against one of your old uh, teammates? Uh, currently on TV. The story that we have, it, you know, it's really fun. It, it, the kind of wrestling and the style of wrestling that I believe in, it's you know, story-driven, uh, character-driven uh, wrestling, you know, it's definitely not secondary, but it's not the only element, you know. It allows people to, you know, get attached to me and, and you know, get attached to the characters and feel like, you know, I mean, it's something they've seen before or they've experienced and, and it's something they can relate to, you know, and it's a lot of fun. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And, uh, uh, how? What did he say? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I just thought back to I watched uh, this week's past with uh, TNA, and they had the skit where you were in the uh, convenience store. Uh, yeah. th- th- tell us how that went, uh, and uh, especially the random comment about chlamydia. Yeah, uh, I'll show you. Uh, he, he's he's known to slide uh, strange things in like that. That's why he does pop around the table. Uh, I've shown a few things like that, and then uh, when I was searching for Sting and stuff like that. And, uh, it's a lot of fun to do and they just kind of let me do whatever I want they just kind of follow me around with the camera and I'm in character just reacting with other people they call around and then they, they clip it they put the pieces together fortunately a lot of really really funny stuff it, it doesn't make it up to me because we only have 41 minutes yeah yeah so Now, now recently, it's, it's 
Now, recently, uh, us here at the Mayhem Show got to see you in person uh, at the IWC event uh, th this past month. Uh, how was it working against uh, well, Sweet and Sour Larry Sweeney in front of the Pittsburgh crowd? Yeah, it, was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, the crowd was great. The show was really well put together. Uh, all the guys in the back were really cool. Uh, the promoter, well, you know, treated me good. And uh, I know he's got a reputation for doing that. Taking care of all the guys that he brings in. So it's a lot of fun. And I'm coming up there for another three or four months in a row here for all those shows. So hopefully everyone can come out to those shows. If you've never been to one of those shows, I strongly urge you to go check it out because the shows are really well done. It's, uh, it's really good wrestling and there's stories and characters and the guys from TNA there and uh, it's really, really well done. I had a blast. Nice, nice. I, like I said, well, we've been going through the after parties for a few months and uh, you and Lethal were the first uh, big TNA guys I saw uh, hanging with the crowd uh, at the after parties for IWC. Right, yeah. Uh, I've been known to do that primer again. Nice. Uh, what our own uh, Doc Remedy here was the uh, birthday boy that evening. Got his uh, got his birthday chops. Yeah. Uh, what, what did you think of that? Uh, I've seen him a, a, a few times. I've never received him myself. I don't. I don't like him. I'll be honest with you. I mean, I don't. I don't think anybody does. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, he he uh, he he stood up to Larry Sweeney. Yeah, he stood up to Larry Sweeney. Yeah, he stood up to Larry Sweeney. He stood out there and took some stiff ones. Yeah, he sure did. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, um, I guess uh, uh, T in TNA, I know you've been in there for a few years. Um, how, what, What's your best moment in TNA, you think, thus far? Like, best match? Uh, best number one moment, uh, it would probably be when we, we, we switched to prime time on Spike and I wrestled uh, Sting, the mm -hmm. main event. Oh, yes. So that was a pretty big moment for me and probably like the biggest moment of my career, I would say. I've been signing my first contract, but uh, that was big. Uh, just getting on Spike TV was huge for us. Um, moving to prime time and you know, being a big part of that show was, was really, really cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, I, I love I love the interactions with Sting. Uh, I always think back to the, uh, the one opening for a pay-per-view where it was you and the Sting mask. Uh, right, yeah. That was a, that was a very good opening. I thought I, I got a kick out of that. Definitely, definitely. Uh, how is it to work with Sting in, in general? I mean, is he good? You know, I, I mean, is he, he get along with everybody pretty well there in the company? Yeah, everyone's cool there, man. Like just uh, just like a, uh, kind of like a big group working cohesively. You know, I me mean? trying to put forth the best product, and uh, I mean, it's uh, it's really exciting. You know, it's like be part of something that you believe in and. And everyone around you is, you know, having a good time and, you know, doing what they want to love to do. And, and, and uh, everyone's contributing and you feel like you're part of it, you know, even if it's a small role or a big role, it's, it's cool. And the work at was, I mean, like a dream from Chile is one of my favorites growing up. And, and uh, I've watched it since I was, you know, six years old. So he was always one of my favorites. So and to be in the ring with him and, and get wrestling was kind of something that I, I didn't think was ever going to be possible. But uh, nice. I did it. So it was cool, man. Nice, nice. Definitely. Um, and, uh, uh, recent events, I know a lot of the, the internet's lit up uh, over the news, uh, that Vince Russo's been helping, uh, well, I guess had a writing role in the company? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I, of course, I'll, uh, said the Mayhem Show, I've had our opinions about where the direction is going. Uh, what do you think about how, you know, what, what Russo brings to the table, uh, these days? And he obviously brings experience, you know, he's been around wrestling a lot, and He's had his hand in a lot of uh, big things and big changes that have gone on the rest. You know, some good, some bad. Um, I think he's great. Uh, I like working with him. He's easy to deal with. He, he's got a vision and he knows how to get his points across and tell you what he needs you to do and what he wants you to do and what he's, he's coming out of each angle and each character and stuff. So it's cool to have direction, you know. Uh, I mean, it doesn't just come down to him, though. You know, I mean, there's a lot of other people that are making decisions. It's, it's not one person. I wanted to ask you about uh, what's the what's the schedule like uh, 
for doing a TNA show, seeing that I know you do all your tapings on uh, one day. But uh, what's what's it what's it like doing all that in one day? Um, it's cool, man. It's the only job I've ever had where I, I look forward to going. You know, it's, uh, it's, uh, we tape every other week, and we do we do two shows. Uh, we'll tape on the Monday, and then it'll go the first show will air that Thursday, and then the second show will air the following Thursday. Then we have the explosion shows, which are uh, still air on the like, chat network and stuff like that. Some more cable shows still in Canada on the fight network and stuff. So, uh, you know, it, it's an awesome feeling to, to look forward to going back to work and actually being able to say, I don't, I don't feel that I work enough. You know what I mean, I wish I could do it more. Mm-hmm. So, and I know that they're planning on getting really busy come to the, you know, springtime uh, in the summer. So the TNA is going to be getting out there and whatever will spoil like they have been. And hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll you know, keep up our end of the bargain and, and uh, deliver a quality product. Um, and actually, along the schedule goes, uh, I know a lot of uh, TNA wrestlers uh, are, are all around the indies, keeping keeping themselves fresh. Uh, what's your indie schedule look like along with the TNA? Um, mine's uh, it's not uh, heavy as um, I know. Uh, most Joe and Jason Jordan have been doing their shows and uh, they're doing their shows and 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 they're doing their shows I, I'm pretty moderate. I, uh, I'm in the part where I can kind of pick and choose. And, you know, I, I want to do shows that are quality and where I'm not risking injury and, and you know, where we're going to be taken care of so I can make it to, to work. You know what I mean? So, uh, like the show in Pittsburgh was fantastic. Uh, uh, and I wrestle all over the place. It's, it's really cool. But, I mean, I got a pretty, pretty relaxed schedule. Play a lot of video games. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, uh, we're, we're down with that. <laughs> uh, speaking of video games, uh, will you. Eric Young being the uh, TNA video game that will be coming out. Yeah, absolutely. They were, uh, they were uh, it was probably about two months ago doing the, the body scans and stuff and you had to put our stuff on and stand in front and they, they scan you and then the digital ability is coming across the computer. It kind of blew my mind, you know, and action figure is supposed to come out. So after the action figure comes out and I'm on a video game where I don't have to create myself, I can die. So, you know, no big deal. I'm, I'm happy after that. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, will will your video game counterpart be able to do the uh, the yeahs and the boos that you love to do? I know uh, I was talking to Dixie Carter, the owner of DNA. Uh, she's really hands on with all the goes on. She was saying that the guys are, are really having a blast putting their young character together and all the little mannerisms and you know the the yay boo and the, the pointing and the you know stuff like that. But I guess they they really like it and they took a lot of shots of doing different facial expressions, which uh, I've seen in some of the graphics for the game uh, opening, they had it on uh, the video game awards, they showed a clip on it, graphics are unreal, and uh, the game is going to run on the same engine that um, Nintendo 64's uh, No Mercy, that game, oh, nice. uh, NWO versus the World, that game. Yeah, well, I don't nice. know if you play those games, but if you oh, yeah. it, it was just fun to play, easy to play, and the dick of so it's going to be the same yeah, definitely. I, I still play. I still pull out my old uh, uh, WCW Revenge game from back in the day. I mean, it's definitely, definitely. Uh, we have a couple questions here from the chat room. We have a live chat room going on right now uh, from Mad Mike in the Bronx. And uh, did you can read that question. Uh, he was. He wants to ask you uh, what you did with those uh, those condoms you bought. Well, there, there. Mad Mike now has his uh, his answer. Uh, what about the uh, SpongeBob SquarePants bikini? Uh, the SpongeBob SquarePants bikini and the shirt and the monsters are actually going to be on sale on eBay. I think within the next month for the guy that takes care of that stuff for me. So get your money out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I got a question on a more serious note. I read earlier today... Uh, I don't think you're close enough. Come on. Uh, earlier today, on a more serious note, I read that you actually came... You came in contact with a brush of death. Could you, uh, you yeah. tell us a little bit about that? Yes, uh, I have this, uh, a condition in my throat, as you can tell. My voice doesn't sound really like anybody else's. Uh, it's in Brad Tillman's DVD. It's the same thing that he had. It's, uh, papillomas. It's, uh where like a growth will grow on your vocal cords and I have to have it removed. Mine's not anywhere near as serious as his was, 
I still have to have surgeries every, you know, four, five, six months. And uh, probably about six, eight months ago, I was having a surgery and uh, I stopped breathing. Uh, I was under anesthesia, so I didn't really experience it, but uh, they had to hook me up to a machine to get me breathing in. Yeah, so, but that's the only time I've ever had a problem with surgery, and I've had eight of them. So. Oh, jeez. Wow. I wish you the best of luck. Yeah, that's uh, I didn't experience. So to me, it's not that scary. But what I just try not to think about it when I go in to do the surgery. And, uh, I go to a hospital here, uh, Vanderbilt Medical Center, and they're really good there. So uh, it's, it's good that I'm so close to that good, uh, good area for it. And uh, we, we got another question from the chat room. Uh, now I know the perception with a lot of uh, his appearance on the radio shows have brought this, but uh, Mad Mike uh, again asks uh, if Kurt Angle is truly crazy. What? If Kurt Angle is truly crazy. Oh, he's, uh, he's a really cool guy. Uh, you know, he's in Pittsburgh, as you know. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's a professional, man. And, mm-hmm. and uh, he's easy to talk to. And, uh, you know, it, it's cool just to, you know, come in and see with him. It's kind of it's kind of surreal, you know what I mean? And you're having a conversation about his flight in. And, I mean, you know, what he's going to do after the show and stuff like that. So it's, uh, I, I've had nothing but good experiences with him. Good, good. I, I've actually, I actually met him in person here in Pittsburgh at a, at a signing, and uh, uh, there was a baby crying in front of us that he, that he settled down himself. Right. So. Uh, yeah. So we, we usually there's usually another member of the radio show here, but he is not here tonight, and he usually uh, presents what we like to call the rest, wrestling mayhem show's big question. So uh, we're gonna. I, I'm. I'm gonna take the reins on this one and give you the Wrestling Mayhem Show's big question. Are you ready, Eric Young? I'm ready. All right. Uh, we'll go. I'll go an easy, a little easier route. If you could have uh, a dream match with anyone, um, anyone at all, living, past, do- doesn't matter, in uh, in whatever venue you want, like, you know, if it was like a WrestleMania show or if it was even like uh, the uh, TNA pay per view, wherever you wanted to have it. What would it be? Um, that's a good question. I would say uh, it would be a toss-up in between Ric Flair or Shawn Michaels, and I would wrestle them in maybe an Iron Man match at the Roger Center, which used to be the Sky Dome of the Blue Jays play in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Oh, that's... Very, that's a, that's a good answer, that's Eric. Really I, I like that one. I, I wouldn't mind seeing uh, seeing that either. Yeah, hopefully. Yes. Okay, I, I don't, don't think it's possible, but that would, I could pick and choose any. That's what I would do. Well, we'll pull forward for WrestleMania 24 then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, uh, we, if we could, yeah, what's that? If we what? could uh, ask you, ask you maybe, uh, would you like to throw a nice little plug for our uh, radio show? Sure. Well, what do you need? Uh, we just need, what, however you want to do it, just say uh, that you're listening to the Wrestling Mayhem show, and, and, this, and this is, is Eric Young. And this yeah. is Eric Young. And throw, uh, you, throw however you want to at it, you know? All right, man. Whatever. Uh, yeah, whenever you're ready. Hey, everyone, this is Showtime Eric Young from TNA, Oral Not Stop Wrestling on Spike TV. You're listening to the Wrestling Mayhem Radio Show. All right. Thank you Excellent. very much, Eric. Young. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any, any shout outs you want to throw out there before we let you go tonight? Uh, you know, to, uh, everyone, thanks for watching. Uh, every Thursday night, Spike TV. Uh, we got a big special coming up on Monday night, the same night the dog shows on. We'll be running against that. Uh, I've been trying to do some stuff for a bunch of my, uh, my close and personal friends. Uh, it's going to be a good show. We've got another two hour special on the Thursday following. So, all right, and uh, thank you for giving the Wrestling Mayhem Show a call and letting us interview you. All right, man, thank you. Uh, we'll see you at the next IWC show. All right. All right. Have a good evening. You too. Bye. Excellent.